In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert moles to atoms and atoms to moles. So number one, how many atoms are present in five moles of zinc? In order to answer this question, you need to be familiar with something called Avogadro's number. So basically, it's a conversion between moles and atoms. One mole is equal to 6 times 10 to the 23. And that's the conversion. So one mole of zinc is equal to that many atoms. So what if we have five moles of zinc? So we can convert it. I'm going to put one mole of zinc on the bottom so that these units will cancel. And in the numerator of the fraction, I'm going to put Avogadro's number. So this is how many atoms it's going to be. So to get the answer, it's just 5 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23. So it's 3.011 times 10 to the 24 atoms of zinc. And that's a simple way on how you can convert moles to atoms. Number two. How many atoms can be found in 8 moles of nitrogen gas? So feel free to try this one if you want to. Now, be careful. Let's start with 8 moles of nitrogen. What is the formula of nitrogen gas? It's not simply N, it's N2. So right now, what we have is not an atom, but a molecule. So keep that in mind. Now, we know that 1 mole is equivalent to 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules of N2. Now we don't yet have atoms, so we need to take it one step further. In one molecule of N2, there are two atoms of nitrogen. So let me rewrite this. So let's put one molecule on the bottom. So by the way, this number represents molecules, because N2 is a molecule. And so we're going to have two atoms of N on top. So it's going to be 8 times Avogadro's number times 2. So the final answer for this example, it's 9.8. 635 times 10 to the 24 atoms of nitrogen. So always look at the substance that you're dealing with. You need to know if that substance is composed of molecules or is it composed of atoms. And it's very important because you might have an additional step to deal with. Number three. How many moles of copper are equivalent to 8 times 10 to the 24 copper atoms? So this problem is basically the reverse of the first problem. In the first example, we have the number of moles, and we converted it to the number of atoms. But in this example, we're given the number of atoms, and we wish to convert it to moles. So we could still use Avogadro's number to accomplish that task. So let's start with what we're given, which is 8 times 10 to the 24 copper atoms. And let's convert it. So there's 6 times 10 to the 23 atoms of copper per 1 mole of copper. So all you need to do, whenever you want to convert from atoms to moles, simply divide by Avogadro's number. And so the answer for this example is 13.28 moles of copper. And that's it. Number four, how many moles of oxygen gas can be found in a sample of 4.3 times 10 to the 25 oxygen atoms. 
So we're given the atoms of oxygen, and we need to convert it to moles of oxygen gas, which is a molecule. So we need to convert from the substance O to the substance O2, which involves an extra step. So just be mindful of that. So let's start with 4.3 times 10 to the 25 atoms of oxygen. So this is O we're dealing with, not O2 yet. So let's convert this to moles of oxygen. There's 6 times 10 to the 23 atoms of oxygen per 1 mole of oxygen. So now we can change the substance from O to O2. Now there are 2 oxygen atoms per molecule. So therefore we could say that there's 2 moles of oxygen atoms per 1 mole of O2 molecules. So now the unit atoms of oxygen will cancel and moles of oxygen cancels as well. So now all we need to do is the math. So let's divide 4.3 times 10 to the 25 by 6.022 times 10 to the 23. You should get 71.4 and then divide that by 2. So what we have is 35.7 moles of O2 or oxygen molecules. 5. How many atoms are present in 4.5 moles of magnesium phosphate? Now we're not looking for atoms of magnesium or atoms of phosphorus. We want to know the total number of atoms in general because we're going to specify any particular atom. In order to do that, we need to write the correct chemical formula of magnesium phosphate. So what's the formula for this compound? Magnesium is an alkaline earth metal found in group 2A, which has a charge of positive 2. Phosphate is one of those polyatomic ions that you need to know. It's PO4 minus 3. And so we're going to exchange the charges with subscripts, and we're going to reverse the order. And this will give us the formula Mg3PO42. So that's the formula of magnesium phosphate. So there are three magnesium atoms in this compound two phosphorus atoms, and four times two is eight, so there are eight oxygen atoms. So there's a total of 13 atoms in a single compound of magnesium phosphate. So now we could finish the problem. So let's start with 4.5 moles of Mg3PO42. And let's convert it to formula units. So one mole of magnesium phosphate will contain 6 times 10 to the 23 formula units of the same thing, Mg3PO4. Now in one formula unit of magnesium phosphate, there are 13 atoms. So moles of magnesium phosphate cancels, and also the formula units of magnesium phosphate cancels as well. So it's going to be 4.5 times Avogadro's number times 13. So the answer is 3.52 times 10 to the 25 atoms in total. Number six, how many moles of aluminum sulfate are present in a sample that contains a total of 8.4 times 10 to the 25 atoms? So this time we're given atoms and we got to find the number of moles and we're given the total number of atoms. So let's begin by writing the correct formula of aluminum sulfate. Aluminum has a positive 3 charge. Sulfate has a minus 2 charge. So this is going to be Al2SO43. So we have 2 aluminum atoms, 3 sulfur atoms, and 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 oxygen atoms. 
12 plus 3 is 15, plus 2, 17. So there's a total of 17 atoms in a formula unit of aluminum sulfate. So let's start with our conversion of 8.4 times 10 to the 25 atoms. Now we know that there's 17 atoms per formula unit of aluminum sulfate. And now let's convert it to moles. So one mole of aluminum sulfate is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 formula units of aluminum sulfate. So first we have the cancellation of atoms and then formula units of aluminum sulfate. So our final answer will have the unit moles of aluminum sulfate. So to get the answer, it's going to be 8.4 times 10 to the 25 divided by 17 and then divided by Avogadro's number. So the final answer is 8.2 moles of aluminum sulfate.